हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी विल एक्सप्लेन द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फंडामेंटल लॉ इन बेसिक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स दैट इज मास एक्शन लॉ नाउ इन केस ऑफ प्योर सेमीकंडक्टर और इंट्रेंस सेमीकंडक्टर वी हैव स्टडीड दैट ऑल द कंस्टिट्यूंट पार्टिकल आर सेम दैट मींस इफ आई कंसीडर फॉर सिलिकन देन ऑल द कंस्टिट्यूट पार्टिकल विल बी फॉर सिलिकन फॉर जर्मेनियम ऑल द कंस्टिट्यूट पार्टिकल विल बी फॉर जर्मेनियम now suppose for this pure semiconductor or intrinsic semiconductor these electrons are bound electron because they are in a the covalent bond now at 0 kelvin temperature this electron are bound electron but if we give external energy or at uh, we can say at room temperature that is 300 kelvin temperature this electron will gain enough energy and they will move from valence band to conduction band for conduction now what happen in case of pure intrinsic semiconductor one electron will move from this valence band to conduction band then what will happen this place will be replaced by a hole that is this one so this process is called electron hole uh, pair generation now in case in this case the number of electron generated at the conduction band which is equals to number of holes generated at valence band so we can write the number of electron concentration that is n which is equals to the hole concentration at valence band and these two are same because the number of electron and number of holes are same and which is equals to n i that is in intrinsic carrier concentration this is for pure semiconductor because in case of pure semiconductor the number of free electron is equals to number of free holes and which is equals to the intrinsic carrier concentration but for better conductivity we actually use we actually add the dopant element in this pure semiconductor and the result is called extrinsic semiconductor in case of impure semiconductor or extrinsic semiconductor we add acceptor atom or donor atom for better conductivity so for that we will get n type semiconductor and p type semiconductor in case of n type semiconductor there will be uh, majority charge carrier will be electron and in case of p type semiconductor the major charge carrier charge carrier will be the holes so uh, in case of Uh, impure semiconductor the hole concentration and the electron concentration will vary because in case of pure semiconductor these two are same but in case of impure semiconductor that is for n type or p type these two are not equal so here the mass action law plays an important role the fundamental relationship between electron concentration and hole concentration in a semiconductor material and the law states that under thermal equilibrium the product of electron concentration and hole concentration is always constant once again i am telling you that is under thermal equilibrium uh, under thermal e equilibrium the product of electron concentration that is say in and the product of hole concentration that is p which is equals to constant and actually the constant term is n i square that is square of the intrinsic semiconduct carrier concentration so in case of impure semiconductor that is for n type or p type where the charge carrier varies then the fundamental relationship between this uh, carrier concentration that is uh, the carrier of electron and the concentration of hole the product of these two which is equals to n i square that is square of intrinsic carrier concentration and this is called mass action law now if we consider a semiconductor material now suppose we are considering semiconductor materials are there and uh, suppose what will be the charge for this semiconductor the net charge basically we consider that is zero why because if we consider the total uh, charge the positive charge and the total negative charge if these two are equal then 
there is no charge excess charge carrier over the uh, left over the uh, semiconductor material so the total charge will be zero so in a semiconductor material if i have to tell what will be the charge then we have to tally we have to uh, take the concentration of electron as well as hole so suppose a semiconductor material is there where positive and negative charge are there with that some ions that is say negative ion or say positive ion are there so suppose nd is the nd is the donor concentration n a is the acceptor concentration n is the electron concentration and p is the hole concentration so uh, for charge neutrality charge neutrality means the total net charge so for charge neutrality the number of total number of positive charge will be equals to total number of negative charge that means if i say the material is uh, neutral that means total positive charge which is equals to total negative charge now positive charge will be given by this positive charge will be given by this p and the donor concentration so we can write p plus nd which is equals to negative charge that is n plus na right so for this this equation this is the equation for charge neutrality now in case of n type semiconductor material we know that in case of n type semiconductor material the n type means the majority charge carrier will be electron so for n type uh, material the n a acceptor charge carrier is zero the all the charge carrier for donor so we can write the donor concentration will be for n type material so we can write actually instead of writing this we can write n d plus which is, is equals to n because n a is equals to zero so actually we can write this equation that is n d which is equals to n minus p n is the total electron concentration and p is the hole concentration so n minus p where n electron concentration is much more greater than the hole concentration so actually we can write n d which is equals to n so this is for n type semiconductor material in the same way we can find the uh, acceptor concentration that is na which will be equals to acceptor concentration which will be equals to the p that is hole concentration so we can actually write the donor concentration which is equivalent to the concentration of electron and the acceptor concentration which is equals to the concentration equivalent to the concentration of hole thank you